Hello YouTube, uh, this is Ham Radio Reviews. Uh, in this week's uh, video, I have an unboxing. This is the Baofeng DM5R, the first dual band DMR radio. Uh, I just received it, let's open it and uh, worry about the details a bit later. There are a lot of things going on with this radio. Uh, so let's see what's going on. Let's open this up. Okay, so go. I like the the box. I mean, for a Baofeng radio, it's uh, here. It is. It's a stylish box. Baofeng TM5R. Okay, this is the TMR radio. What is it here? Police. Okay, hot sale. Portable back packer. Okay, DMR radio here. Again, DMR radio. Okay, here we go. DM5 or DM1 one antenna, one belt clip, one handbag. Handbag. Uh, I think this means the, lan the lanyard, but we'll see. Uh, I don't suppose I, there's a handbag in here. Battery, intelligent seat type charger. Okay, this is a cradle, power adapter, operating instructions, and headset. Whoa! Okay, here we go. Emergency alarm 100 dual stage, dual, dis dual stage, not sure what that is. Dual display, dual frequency weighting. Okay, digital and analog under DMR system, individual call, group call, and all call, and support digital voice encryption. A relevant application of relay in digital mode, two way radio detection in digital mode. Let's see all if all of these. Are true DTMF CTC DCS yes, okay standard stuff for analog and here frequency range yeah this dual band auto mm -hmm. computer program relay cross stage receiving and transitioning in UV stage relay cross stage receiving and transmitting in UV stage Is it, does this thing have a cross band repeater? I don't know, we'll see. Compatibility of digital and analog under DMR system. Digital now under DMR system, okay. Vox FM radio standard stuff. What does it say? Lattice. Not sure what that means. Battery voltage display, bright flashlight. And it's here, this. Okay, oh, here, this is. Shadow here. Okay. Broadband narrow DTMF CDNC CSS. Uh, at level stepped frequency selection uh, support emergency alarm support to way uh, radio detection. This is probably means uh, determine whether the other radio is within range, something like that. Support relevant application of freely in digital mode. Not sure what this is. Support individual call, group call, and all, and support digital voice encryption. Okay, this is standard stuff. So, let's open this up. Nice box for the buffing radio. Uh, it's not, I'm saying, a nice box, for example, because I'm used to uh, boxes like this from buffing, which is pretty standard. Okay. Now, let's see what is in the box. Okay, manual, the first thing we see. Well, is this is the operating instructions. Okay, seems nice. Let's see what's in here. When items are on, search over, downward, the menu. Okay, seems decent. If it is needed to set. Really, function storage setting for the receiving and transmitting of channels in different frequencies. 
Okay, up. I'm sure by now well, we're all used to English like that. And uh, we'll see how good this is later. Okay, here is the radio. First thing we see standard Baofeng UB5R body with some differences in the button colors. Here everything is all buttons are black at the front. Uh, this uh, protective is a bit protective uh, on the screen. This is a bit like it seems as if someone stick it afterwards there. PDT call monitor battery the usual stuff here. Channel mode. Okay, these frequencies are. I don't know what they are. It's in analog mode, from what I can make out of it. But we will see it in a moment. Battery. Let's see here what is going on. Okay. To redeem 5 bar. 5 watts power. Frequency voltage 7.4 volts. FCC, CE. Certifications, markings at least. Uh, I suppose they are real certifications. Yes, there's a number here, serial number. Okay, battery seems to be identical, it should be identical to UV5Rs. I have a UV5RA here, uh, and let's see if it fits right away okay here here's the other one like this uh, this should be identical let's try the U5RA's battery here and yes it's perfect okay it fits so that's good. Batteries are hard to find these days from China. Hard to find because they can't ship batteries. Okay, standard uh, Kenwood dual pin. Let's see if uh, cables work. Standard keypad. Okay, let's see what else is in the box. Not sure what was in here. But we'll see. A lanyard maybe. I don't know. Okay, nice packaging. Nice packaging for a radio at least. Let's see what's in here. Okay. This is the headset. In here. Things like that. Standard cradle. Which is not very good, but okay. 8.4 volts. Yeah, standard buffing cable, all the usual things, charger, same charger, As always uh, the belt clip, I don't see any screws for the belt clip though, oh the screws should be here, yes, they are here, okay, a lanyard, this is probably what they meant by handbag, but okay, and the antenna, the antenna, Seems like a Nagoya. I think this is a 701. Nagoya 701, but it's unmarked. If you see here, black. Nothing here. Uh, okay. Let's see if it screws. Okay. Here it is with the antenna. Okay, now, this is the unboxing, let's uh, see what this thing can do. 